Assalamu alaikum. We have just launched our Fight with Light fundraising campaign for Seekers Hub Global, where our goal is to raise $60,000 in monthly donations by the end of the year. And all of this money will go towards fighting ignorance and fighting hatred and fighting extremism by spreading the light of knowledge and the light of guidance and the light of the way of our messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We hope that you'll join us in this fight. And you can do so by becoming a monthly donor at seekershub.org slash donate. You're listening to the Qur'an Tafsir, Understanding the Word of Allah, a podcast dedicated to explaining the Qur'an presented by various reliable scholars. This episode is presented by Sheikh Faid Muhammad Saeed of La Raib Institute for Education in the UK. This podcast is powered by Seekers Hub Global. Visit seekershub.org for online courses, our Q&A service with reliable scholars, and engaging media. وَقَالُوا مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ يَا اللَّهِ What kind of book is this when you, when you receive the register, the record of your actions and your deeds? لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْسَحَ There is no anything minor or major that you do that is not recorded, Ya Allah. If we ask anyone in this majlis, huh? how old are you? If someone would <coughs> tell us 20 years, if you ask them to speak about, them, about themselves, Solomon, how, if some at 20 years old, how long do you think he will take to speak about himself and what he's done in his life? If, if 20 years old, if you ask him, speak about, uh, uh, about tell me about you. One hour, half hour, not twenty minutes. Not one, one, hour, one hour, half an hour. Even if they, if they remember details, it will be one hour. But was their life one hour? Huh? Twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah, I need two hundred and forty months. Multiplied by thirty. Multiplied by, uh, by twenty-four hours. La ilaha illallah. So in that record, in that register, everything is recorded. It's not, it's not the record of one day or two days. Of all 20 years. So Allah said, مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ What is in the grave? So it's not fight that is in the grave. The actions, the words, the, uh, all the relations that you have all the good things that you did, all the people that you had, this is a story, big story. So you have to think, yani this is what Allah is saying, everything yani, will come out. Subhanallah, which means from this one body, all this is going to come. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So it's not about man, it's not about who then, it's about what. Because each and every action will be subhanAllah singled out. May Allah make it easy for us. And this is what we have to be worried about. Can I ask you a question? Do you know what was the last <coughs> ayah to be revealed in the Quran? The last ayah. The last ayah. Surah Nasr, the last surah. You are right, but it is the last surah. I've completed the deen for you. I've completed. Aliyom atmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmantu alaykum ni'mati. This is the last ayah which, which comes with rules. But the last single ayah that Allah has revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. Allah said, and be aware. And if you are to go to be afraid, be afraid. From what? A day that you will turn back to Allah. تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ A day that you are all going to be returned back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is ayah surah al-Baqarah وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمٍ تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ It is 
281 I believe Wallahu alam Yeah huh? 281 or 280 Yeah 281 or 280 This is the last ayah ever 281 Yes The last ayah This is the last ayah As if Allah has finished the wahi Huh? The divine by reminding us of that that very day. Because when we speak about that very day in the Quran, Rabbi subhanahu wa ta'ala, in fact, the, it was said more than one third of the Quran speaks about Yom al Qiyamah. Because it's the day that we don't we shouldn't forget. That's why Rasulullah <coughs> relates even every action that we do to Yom al Qiyamah. So he said, Subhanahu, uh, Rasulullah said in hadith, uh, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al-akhir Whoever believes in Allah in the day of judgment should honor his guests Whoever believes in Allah in the day of judgment should honor his neighbor or her neighbor Whoever believes in Allah or the day of judgment they should say something good or keep quiet So even the minor things Allah relate them to <laughs> Yawm al-Qiyamah Because that is a day That is the future There is no other future Habibi you know where we are, many people were living here and they left. And no one thought one day someone is going to teach hadith, uh, Quran or Tafsir in this place. Allah brought you from everywhere. So, it's the qadr of Allah. We are guests in this dunya. We are here and we'll go. The absolute future is that day. That's why Allah said, فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَاسِ Whoever is safe that day, he's safe. That is the future. So Rabbi subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِذَا وَأْفِرَ مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ Then Rabbi said, وَحُصِّلَ مَا فِي السُّدُورِ حُصِّلَ it, had, and it will be in that day when it is found out what is in someone's chest. You with me? Allah, I want you to stop writing and let us discuss about this. Not, not going to speak about it. I want you to, to, to ask questions as well. We'll let us discuss about this. Allah said, and in that day it will be found out what is in someone's chest. Why Allah didn't say, you didn't use the heart? Because always we speak about the purity of the heart, don't we? So Allah didn't say, and when it is found out what is in the heart, why Allah used the chest? Do you understand my question first? Huh? Good. So now I need the answer. Shall I repeat the question again? Oh, is the question clear? Yeah. the question, the answer is... Because your heart is surrounded by the chest. Save it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, subhanAllah, there are three organs and these three organs we are not talking about them in uh, when we speak about the heart we are not speaking about the heart that pumps oxygen and the blood this is this is even dogs and uh, and rats they have them anyway this is not the heart it is something beyond that subhanallah when we speak about this but there is this and there is also what we call nafs The control of your desires, the center of your desires, and there is also ruh, the soul. And each one of them are different. Anyway, this is a tafsir class. We are not in uh, Tazkiyah. Uh, however, Rabbi Subhanahu wa Taala used the chest because not only the heart that is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala speaking about. Also, many things we do them just in order to, to, to satisfy our desires. Many things we do them, and we know sometimes that things that you do, there is no benefit or harm for them anyway for you. Just you desire them and you do them. And it is very important to control yourself. Very important to control yourself. Imam Siyuti, rahmatullahi alayhi, they said how strong he was. For you to understand, his house was opening to the Nile River. To the Nile River. So, in a time where 
يعني the river becomes full people used to come to his house and in order to see the river from his window and him himself for 16 years he didn't even open that window to see the river it's not haram I'm not saying it is haram <laughs> but he said one day I desire to open the window to see the river and then he said if I am, this is something very small that I'm desiring so what if my nurse was to ask me for something bigger? But you have to be in peace with yourself as well. Don't, don't stop anything that you want. This is a complicated issue. So, but anyway. So Rabbi subhanahu wa ta'ala said, spoke about chess so that you understand not only about spirituality, about your desires, but also about your connection with everything around you. In a day of judgment, there is no secrets. You know, sometimes we carry a lot of things in our chest for each other. And when we see each other, oh, mashallah, you keep saying salam, and there is nothing. In Yom al Qiyamah, Allah opens up. So Allah said, Husila ma bin sudur. So Allah is warning me, warning my brothers, my sisters. When you hide something from someone in with the way you deal with them, remember one day it will come. What you are hiding is going to be open. So if you are not ashamed now here, yeah, don't think you are very clever. Because uh, in that day it will be opened up and not only one in front of all the world. La ilaha illallah. In every, in every form, in everything, in, in all our relations, we have to be very careful. Because Allah said, What is in the chest? Everything will be opened up. إذا بعثر ما في القبور وحصل ما في الصدور. In Allah wa alam in our life a lot of thoughts comes to us. A lot of secrets that we live with. In Rabbi is warning me and warning everyone. It will come a day that everything is going to be open for everyone. There is nothing that you can hide. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when that sahabi came and said, Ya Rasulullah, advise me. What shall I do? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, Abdil al-ta'am. Feed people. Because this is the first thing, subhanallah. Huh? One. The second, he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abdil al-ta'am wa afshi salam. Keep. Spreading salam everywhere. And the third he said, Wastahi min Allah kama tastahi min rajulin muhabin fi qawmik. This is, subhanAllah said, and be shy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As you don't want any respectable, any, yani, uh, uh, any, res any respected person from your people, you don't want them to see <coughs> some of your yani, uh, some of your faults said that is the way even look at the minimum way he's not saying to you even to deal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but minimum Rasulullah is asking you to be minimum and you don't want anyone within the community to know about your yani, the worst of your behaviors then also be shy from Allah because Allah is watching you as you are hiding from them, just also hide from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If there is any way to hide from Rabbi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna rabbahum bihim yawma idhin lakhabir. This ayah, we need to discuss about it in depth. Allah said, Inna rabbahum bihim. Verily their Lord. In that very day, Yawma Idin. La Khabir, verily, is all known by the details of everyone's life and of everyone's secrets. Mashi? 
Is this aya clear now? Okay. Now I want you to stop writing. All of you. Allah said, first of all, let us... Two words are very important in this ayah. The first word is Yawma Idhin. The second word, the second word is la khabir. Yawma idhi means that very day. Huh? That very day. La khabir means what does the word khabir mean in Arabic? Expert. Expert. And why do we call the expert expert? Because they know the details of things. So Rabbi subhanahu wa ta'ala not only knows you, but knows everything about you. Wallahi wa billahi wa tallahi. No matter how technology progresses, no one will know me who I am other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bring all the machines. Let them analyze all the genes, everything in me. No one will know me other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah knows subhanallah about everything in us. Not only knows what you do, but also knows what you think. Not only knows what you think, but also Allah knows what you forgot. And Allah knows anything that is associated with you. For example, speaking now, let us let's just say five, huh? Not only Allah knows fight, but also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everyone what is everyone thinking of fight. So all this, no technology on earth, no one will know it other than him subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah, so the word khabir is one of the names of Allah, one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-khabir. Mashi? And we have yawma in that very day. So if you go back to me, in the ayah, Allah said, "Inna Rabbahum bihim yawma idin la khabir." Their Lord, that very day, knows everything about them and everything related to them. Are you with me? That this makes sense. And Allah doesn't know anything about me today. You understand? If you open the translation, their Lord knows everything about them that very day. So what about before? What about after? This is, this is the purpose of a tafsir. Tafsir is to swim in the meaning of the Qur'an. Do you understand the point now? So I need explanation. So help me. Let us help each other. You want me to repeat what I said? Huh? Allah said, verily Allah knows everything about them that very day. So what about before? No concept of time. Huh? No concept of time. No concept with time. So Allah knows. So why Allah is saying that Allah knows everything about them that very day? And we know each and every ayah in the Quran has a meaning. Because it's why it is a divine. So... That Allah need that record. For, okay. This you, Alhamdulillah, you came with a good point. Even so, it's not what I meant, but this is a good point. Said so because all the records are there with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Does Allah need all these records? Huh? So if Allah doesn't need all these records, so why why all these records are gathered? Why why do we have all these records if there is no if Allah doesn't need them? Yes, Habib. Because Allah is absolute just. Allah doesn't account you with his knowledge. In Yom Al-Qiyamah, Allah says, you've done this, you've done this, you've done this. Say, I didn't do it. Because, and genuinely I can say that, because I might forget. I say, I, say, I don't know, I don't remember this. I don't recall it. So then the Malaika comes to be a witness. Say, you know, these are yours, Ya Rabbi. <laughs> these are yours. Yani, they are not from me. You understand? Even you have, see the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have the right even to question the Malaika. Okay. The earth, 
إذا ودنس أزواء إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها إذن the earth will speak May Allah make where we are إن شاء الله good witness for us يوم القيامة so, Even the earth you don't accept it and then even your organs will witness for you or against you So this is all for you to understand this is from his justice subhanahu wa ta'ala no, Allah doesn't need all these records still we go back to the ayah I need your help the ayah Allah said Allah ver- that, that very day knows everything about you so what about before he doesn't know it and if he knows why he said that very day Allah knows everything naam bismillah can't hide anything from Allah. But Allah is saying... Allah knows everything before that and after that. But before that, Allah was using with you with his name as sattar The old covering. Allah doesn't, subhanAllah, doesn't dispose anyone. Doesn't uncover anyone. Rabbi subhanahu wa ta'ala because one of his names is as sattar He covers everyone. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever covers the fault of a Muslim, Allah will cover his fault this yawm al-qiyamah. The worst thing is to keep talking about the faults of others. Even if it is a truth, don't spread it. Don't spread it. This is not a deen. This is not a deen. Look, the woman came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, Ya Rasulullah, commit zina. Huh? Punish me. He said, no, 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 you didn't do it. And then, uh, he, did he ask her, who, who, did, you, who, who, did, uh, who, who did you do the zina with? He didn't, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's not like now, our desires, wallahi al-azim, as a Muslim community, la ilaha illa, we just want to know everything about everyone. Ya Rabbi Allah, we're not going to ask you, Marqim, about all this. And some information is not good for you is bad for you is evil for you it doesn't help you subhanallah you have someone you love you respect you know all the good about them khalas leave it there because if you keep thinking then there, because there is no one without fault so why do you have to try to know everything subhanallah ay wallahi subhanak rabbi so rabbi said that very day because now we know that Allah knows but sometimes you give it a blind eye don't you? Huh? even when you are doing the thing you say, you say no, Allah is ghafur rahim Allah is sattah but in that very day there is nothing to hide because everything is in front of you may Allah save us and it was narrated يعني, sometimes the good deeds will come to you in a form of something beautiful and the bad deeds will come to you something very bad and very ugly so Allah is directing you to think about that very day it's not the day that not only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but it will be open for everyone say this this ayah the purpose of it this surah we go back to the purpose of the surah what did we say the purpose of this surah was at the very beginning when we start talking about this surah in lesson one, who can remind me the purpose of Surah Al-Adiyah? It's to speak to me as mankind and also to remind me of your Al-Qiyam. Inshallah Ta'ala, we will start the next, the other Surah next week. And also before that, Inshallah, we'll speak a little bit uh, about your Al-Qiyam, which is very important in our life. May Rabbi Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless you. May Rabbi Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala shower with his Rahmah. May Rabbi open the doors of Khair for you. Thank you for listening to the Qur'an Tafsir, Understanding the Word of Allah. Help Seekers Hub give light to millions around the world by becoming a monthly donor at seekershub.org donate. Your donations are tax deductible in the U.S. and Canada.